Hi, yes. Alrighty, me back to talk about how my fast in my mind and body is going. And today is the eighth day. It's been officially a week. Um, I know some people think that the week is seven days, but for me, since I started on a Saturday, it just made sense to stop on a Saturday. And today is that day. It's at nighttime too. I waited. I was going to make this video earlier, but I was like, you know, technically, I still got to make it through the day um, before I could say it has been my whole eighth day, and it has. Um, I'm going to start off with saying today has been very challenging um, energy-wise, I must say. And not in a negative way, but um, where I know I need to take things really easy. Or I might have flipped. Um, but I think overall, I did good. I slipped it away. Um, I slept a lot today, I must say. I don't know if it's the weather or what, but... My energy has been rocky today and yesterday. Um, but overall, this has been an awesome process, I must say. The first couple of days were easy, as I was saying in my last video. But uh, as we are working our way up, uh, my energy has definitely been mentally challenging. Um, energetically, I've been good though that's why when I sit there and I sit there and said um, my energy has been challenging it's like physically I can still function very very well probably better than I thought I would have been definitely not consuming of things that I, people will say that I need um, which is solid foods um, but uh, I've been doing really good but, um, I'm excited to keep going, so I am going to keep going, I must say that too. Um, what else I want to talk about? Um, my weight, I have lost five pounds this week from doing this fast in my mind and body. I got on the scale and I was like, oh, okay, and it dropped down. So I lost five pounds within this week. Um, and I haven't been wearing my... Um, way centered the majority of it because I don't want to wear it to work. Um, I've been wearing it on my days off and today is my day off so I have it on. Um, so yeah, it's not just because of this little beautiful little dangy. Um, but yeah, I'm back to wearing it for today. Pretty much going to wear it for three days. I wear my waist trainer for three days and then I don't wear it for four days because I don't wear it at work. Will I change that eventually? I do not know. And speaking of changing things, I have stopped consuming of coffee. Um, coffee was another thing that I know they already said it's a no-no to do. But yeah, sometimes I have a hard time listening, you know, stubborn a little bit. But yeah, it hit me where I talked about last time where I had my energy level way too high it, it was uncomfortable it was like being upside down like hanging upside down and you get that pressure that goes to your head it's like oh my god you know I, I could pass out right now or my nose start bleeding it was one of those type of feelings so i was like okay yeah we're gonna stop doing that so i haven't been consuming of coffee i have been drinking water and i've been drinking on this slim fast drink which I wanted to show what it was, but I, cause I got rid of all the bottles, but it's okay, cause I'm gonna purchase some more, and I will show when I do. Um, but it was really good. I mainly got it cause I wanted to get some nutrition stuff in my body and stuff. I was going for insurance, honestly. I don't knock it. They say it's just for old people, but when you're going without certain things, you have to replace it with certain things. And for people who for me, I don't eat meat. That's a thing that I might have to talk about in another video because I don't want to get all into it. But I might just because sometimes you have to when you tell telling certain stories. But um, with me not eating meat, people automatically think that I just eat vegetables and stuff. And they always ask how I get nutrition, nutrients and stuff and protein and all that extra stuff. And that's just ways that I find to do it um, outside of just... What I'm doing now, fast in my mind and body, I naturally would do that. Um, 
find ways to get like protein. Like this is this is something that I got. Speaking of protein, that I've just recently got, and it's mainly just for the reason that I just explained. I feel like I still do need protein in my body instead of just consuming of just water. Um, so I went and got some of that, and. Uh, Speaking of that, what I got, this thingy, I'm still consuming of this bad boy. Um, I don't know if it's doing results, honestly. I just take it just because I feel like it's going to help somewhere, um, honestly. But I don't know. Like It seems like it's too soon to actually say if it's working or not, but I do take this, consume of this, first thing when I get up. This is my first thing that goes into my body, is this. Um, it is really disgusting, I will say, but it is a plant-based a plant -based situation, so it's like you can't go wrong with it, but it is nasty, I have to say, like, but that's that, uh, <laughs> it is nasty, like, it tastes disgusting, um, I have been consuming of this, I take, like, a spoonful of this, and, um, a spoonful or two spoons a day of uh, coconut oil just because I feel like it does my inside of my body so much justice like I want everything to just flow nicely so I consume a lot but coconut oil in general has so many wonderful benefits that it's like once again you can't lose <laughs> and um, yeah um, and my teas that I like to consume and which I feel like I should just make a whole video, honestly, differently, outside of this one, of, like, things that I do. I think I might record in the morning, tomorrow, when I get up, how my whole day go, like, what I start off with, and when I do my teas and stuff of that nature. But, um, those are the things that I've just been consuming of, of this week, um, since I've been doing my fast in my mind and body. And, um, uh, I feel like I'm saying endoms a lot, but, um, the fasting part for me is definitely going good, just going without what I normally would enjoy, which is, um, rice and pizza and stuff, It's mainly is carbs, I love carbs, like, since I don't consume um, flesh, which people call meat. Um, I eat lots of uh, rices and pizzas and things of that nature. And right now I'm going without carbs and it's kind of challenging, but it's not. It's, like, it's not like I'm craving it like, um, oh, I have to have it. You know, it's just like, oh, I'm going without it. This is interesting, but I'm not feeling like I'm gonna go through a withdrawal because I'm not consuming of it. Which that part, I'm really proud of myself. And my mind part is a challenge sometimes, I must say. Um, and I, I'm holding my head <laughs> just because it is challenging sometimes. Me, I pick up on so much energy naturally. And with me working the way I am, it's like I just consume so much energy and it just it's crazy challenging. That's what I, I must say. But I have been putting my energy in, I would say, good areas. Um, I've been reaching out to a lot of people also, trying to build relationships that before when I didn't have a clear mind um, that I was missing. But I do want to start building relationships with people. And I have been doing that, and it's making me feel pretty good. Like, I feel like that's just a good um, direction that I need to go in, and I'm happy that I'm doing it. That commercial and, um, okay. Finance. My body part is just learning what I pretty much need, honestly, which is pretty much everything that I just talked about in the beginning. Instead of just trying to do water, it's just like, no, my body knows that it needs more than just that. Can it survive off of it? I can say yes because I have done it before. But this time I'm realizing I don't want to do the same thing. I want to actually learn what I need. Not what people say I need, but what do I need? And that goes again back with my body, not my body, my mind. Um, 
my mind and body working together, learning pretty much about myself. This whole process for me is like, I feel like I'm just learning about myself <laughs> in this process, which is a good thing, I must say. Um, and I'm excited to keep going. I'm going to go into the end of the month. And then I'm going to ease my way into some things. Like I got a new blender, which I'm so excited to use. Um, and I already know I'm going to be using berries because I bought some berry stuff. But I'm going to be blending. I'm gonna, so next is blending my food. And then, I don't know. I'm going to just ease my way into some things. But I also know I'm craving peanut butter. Like peanut butter is just like probably my first day done, which would be the first uh, I don't even say done, so I'm probably going to continue to do the same process. I'm just going to add into it. Like, right now, I don't feel like I should be consuming of a smoothie because it's like, it's pretty much a solid to me, but it's in liquefied form. Like, I tried it today a little bit, but I, I got snatched back to reality really fast. Um, I called myself getting a milkshake today from, um, <laughs> look at me holding my, <laughs> I know I did something that I know I wasn't supposed to do, but anywho. <laughs> I caught myself getting a, a, milkshake, a milkshake today from Arby's. They got that mint delicious shake that I love so much. And uh, I got it in a size medium because I knew I was about to go in. But I didn't get a, I really wanted a large, but I knew, you know, it might have been extra trying it, so I got a medium. <laughs> and uh, when I got it, I sipped it and I was like, okay, this is yummies. And then I sipped it again, and then I started feeling my stomach getting real tight, like it was full already. And I was like, oh no, oh, this is my, this is only my second sip, you know? So I sipped it again, and then it was, I was done. Like I had to give it to my son, like, do you want this? Like, I really can't drink this. This is crazy. <laughs> um, commercial. Hi, so today we're going to try some with all the stuff. First, I mean, I mean, I'm gonna get a cup to buy, to buy to mine for um, three, three minutes. I'll go get a cup. But yeah, so he enjoyed that shake, which I didn't mind. It's just, I guess, I knew I was supposed to be doing it anyway. And my stomach nicely snatched me back to reality as, what you think you're doing? Um, so yeah, that's why another reason why I know I, I'm gonna be easing my way back in and stuff is just because of that. And um, yeah, yeah, I don't think there's anything else I want to talk about at this moment. Honestly, I think that might be it. So to wrap everything up that I've been talking about was everything's been going excelente for the most part, except for today it was a little rocky. And yesterday, day 7th and day 8th of my fast of my mind and body was rocky. But the other days were awesome. Like, I felt like normal. Like, nothing was bothering me except for the 7th day and the 8th day, which is the day. And... Okay, so today, you, um, to, you for, you mean to go get a cup? Thank you, me. Bye to mom, I forgot to spill. Alrighty, our commercials will be done for today. You guys get an extended version of no commercials. I think I said that right. Hey, commercial is... I don't know, it sounds like that's how it's supposed to go. But, anywho, um... Yeah, for the most part, this fast in my mind... My fast in my mind and body has been gone good, honestly. Um, my weight was 160 and now I'm at 155, so I lost 5 pounds in a week um, from not consuming uh, my daily awesome carbs and just rocking with my wonderful teas and water and slim fast drinks and my protein drinks. Um, so I'm looking forward to continuing until the end of the month. I will be back to talk with you guys no, no. on the first. See you then. No, don't. No.